Hey, what's up everybody? Danny Lightning here. So the brand new update, all right, brand new update is only for Legends cars. Now, Legends cars are elite. Cars that you have made elite by getting the elite license are a different type of elite. I already checked and you can't add any of the new stuff to those elite cars, only the Legends cars. So I was given this car for free and it's completely upgraded. Now, there's a brand new currency in the game. So we're going to go take a look at what's new really fast. There's, there's two brand new Legends cars. But in order to get those, you're going to have to get a whole lot of this currency and add all this stuff to your Legends cars. You're going to be able to add stars. You're going to be able to add paint, rims, interior, brake calipers. You're going to be able to add fusion spots to the cars and all kinds of stuff. If I look a little blue, it's because I got my windows open and all the lights coming into my room and it's throwing off the white balance that I have set. I, I don't have the my camera on automatic white balance. So when I open the window, it changes the color of the lighting a little bit. So you got to click on where it says a lead up here. You'll see it gave me 25 or whatever of this new currency. And you're either, I talked to somebody, I kind of have a pretty good source who I speak to sometimes. They're not allowed to say too much, but this is what I've been told. Either you're going to have to spend a small fortune to get all this currency, or it's going to take you a really, really, really long time to complete all of this, okay? So you're either going to spend big money or you're going to grind your butt off to get this new currency for all this new stuff. All right. So check it out. Paints. All right. Liveries. Stars. Kelpers. License plates. Fusion slots. Those are all the new things that you can add here. Okay. It's pretty crazy. I've already picked a few things. All right. It's... I'm going to go ahead and do paints. Okay, so I just unlocked a paint slot. Let's check it out. I'm supposed to spend the 25 currency they gave me. So they just, most of these things are all locked. So spending that little bit of currency just unlocked two new colors for me. So I can choose either of these two colors, which I don't like. Now, eventually, you're going to get way down here, and some of these colors are going to cost different amounts of currency I guess so let's check this out let's get out of here we're gonna have you're gonna have your paint and you're gonna be able to choose different liveries now these you you actually have to unlock as well with the currency so basically it's just a bunch of cos cosmetic stuff that you can unlock with your car so let's forget about the cosmetic stuff there's two brand new new cars now, in order to get those, you have to complete where well, they're already trying to sell you the stuff. But you have to, where it says over here, Elite Legends Collection, 0% complete. You have to earn all of this currency and max out every one of these cars on this list. All the new currency items, all the fusion slots, all of this stuff has to be completely full. And they're going to give you this brand new GT40 Mark II number one. There's also another Legends car that's been added, but I'm not sure how we're getting it yet. So basically, there's some new races out as well. Let's go look at that. All right, we currently have a new racing series. This one is called Izzy's Back. This one can only be used with the Mustang Boss 302. And you're going to be able to earn some of these currencies and fusion parts by racing this. And if you hit, hit go race, you're going to see the only cars, well, I was already in that car. But the only car available is going to be the Mustang Boss 302 for this current racing session. So let's go ahead and do this race and win the prizes. This car is not tuned or anything. It does have one more fusion slot than normal. And I got a really bad start there, but that's okay. We're still going to win this race because it's only the second or third race on this. So now I'm going to earn some prizes. That was a really bad run. 
All right, so I earned a little bit of cash. I just earned some green currency, so I can actually go back into where I was a minute ago and spend some of that currency on this car or one of my other Legends cars. All right, so let's go back to the garage. You guys get an idea of what this is about. It's 30 races to earn parts for the new stuff that's going on. And I can guarantee you, once you do all these races and you earn this stuff, you're still going to need to get additional currency to put more of these parts on. All right. So basically, I just earned, now I got 40 currency, so I can, it wants me to unlock the next thing, all right? So let's go ahead and unlock this. Maybe later, I don't want to see it. So for the next thing, I'm going to need 20 green, and I'm going to need 5 blue. So I can't unlock anything else until I get some of this blue currency. And, you know, there's, there's, there's green, blue, pink, and yellow currency. So you're going to have to earn a whole bunch of this in basically just to unlock a whole bunch of cosmetic upgrades to your car. Eventually, you're going to be able to come over here and unlock fusion slots. And you're going to be able to unlock, you know, a bunch of stuff in this order. Look at how many things are here. You've got to spend currency to get all of this stuff. And this is just for one car. This is just for one car. Again, you've got to do this for one, two, three, four, five... Sit, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. You have to get all of this maxed out for all of those cars just in order to win this new GT40. So basically, I see this as a giant cash grab. I am very disappointed. All right, when I saw the notes, I was excited. Now that I see that it's only for Legends and that it's set up like this, I am very, very disappointed. I am not happy with the way any of this went. First off, I don't like Legends in the first place. I actually hate Legends, okay? I hate the Legends races. Now, this gives me about 200 times more of a reason to hate the Legends races. This isn't making the game fun, all right? This does not make the game fun for me. Some of you guys might love this, but... I'm telling you right now, this is either going to be very expensive or this is going to probably take you a couple years. Personally, I still haven't beat the last set of Legends races. I'm still stuck on Legends Never Die. Okay, I thought we were going to be able to go into our regular cars. All right, look at this. I don't have enough parts on my Lamborghini. I'm on Extreme. I don't have enough parts for my Lamborghini to finish this. I'm on race number 75. Out of 80 so I'm really close but I just need more parts for my cars to finish this now we've got all this uh, other junk going on here which I am NOT very happy about okay all right so you will be able to convert some currency into other currency it says free but I don't actually have 100 to convert so I can't do it all right so if you get a bunch of green you'll be able to convert it into yellow in the blue if you have a bunch of blue you can probably convert it into pink and if you have a bunch of pink you'll probably be able to convert it into gold so this is just a whole bunch of craziness going on that i feel is very unnecessary and probably not improving the game all right so let's go back and find a normal car um we're gonna find a car that i actually made elite just so you can see that the normal cards cars actually have no upgrades or anything okay this car was made elite from getting the elite license so i think it was a poor choice that they named the new stuff elite since you've already got elite cars from the license but none of the regular cars are available for any of this customization so if i go into the normal customization thing it's still gonna say you know it's gonna say permanent freshness there's absolutely nothing i can customize except for the license plate which has always been there. All right, so I think that pretty much wraps all this new stuff up. I mean, I, I don't know. I think I kind of covered everything. Let me pause this for a second and double check. Okay, so I think I pretty much covered everything. I just found a, uh, I just got a notification that there's a video explaining it right on the Facebook page for, uh, for the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to that video in my video's description. Between that, what I've got here 
and I made a video earlier reading off all, all of what the notes said about the update. So between those three things, you guys should have a pretty good grasp on how this works. All right, I will catch you guys later. See ya.